that we have to take these words and apply them to our life. They become our passion. They take control of our thinking. They cause us to do things that we don't like to do, but we do them because God commands them. They cause us to be nice to people that aren't worth treating nicely because we're to love our enemies just the same as Jesus did. They cause us to put ourselves in risk situations with relationships because we're going to do that because we want to share Jesus even if we're worried that they might not like it. It causes us to live in a different way that puts us out there and says, this is the one I put my hope in. I'll follow him to the ends of the world. And those places get out there pretty far. And so out of all that's going on here, we stop and think, you know, Peter, he did a lot. Walked away from everything in order to follow Jesus. Anybody done that yet? And yet in the midst of what was going on, up there on the mountain, he realized he didn't have it all together yet. Jesus. Front and center. All the time. 24-7 this thing. Hear it. Trust him. Live for him. Believe him. Share him. And all these other issues that we find will have meaning and purpose. Not only today, but the world comes. Because after this life, that's all there is. In all of humanity, in all of mankind, when you take where the beginning of time began, and whenever the end of time is, it's going to be but a speck of dust compared to eternity. And it all comes down to what to do with Jesus. First place in life. Think about it. Pray about it. Let God have His way in your life. So as we close the lesson, and you look at your life, in the exam in the mirror. Is God in love? Right? Let God in love. And ask him what he wants. And then be willing to accept what he says. Time to quit sin. Time to give the brethren what you ought to. That's my church. Time to give the other. Love God with your heart, soul, and mind, your strength. Love your neighbor with your soul. How are you doing? It's worth thinking about. Jesus is worth God. Life and death. He's worth every day. If you're not a Christian this morning, can you understand the principles? what it takes to follow Jesus and you've not made that commitment to baptism. If God you your life, go commit to it. You find yourself off track. You've been hiding well, nobody knows. But God back in. Get the demons out. You need to respond publicly. Jesus comes. We're here to help Encouragement, prayers, comments, whatever. Face down front. We sing a song. Think about the words. Please come. Always sing. I am my Lord.